everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So this is a very large showstopper card. I think I'm going to call it, I think it, we, we were talking in the chat on what we would call this and I think it's going to be something like a panel accordion or pop out accordion, something like that. Anyway, those of you that watched the live, you would have seen me get so far with it and then I kind of stopped. It was just down to the detail really. I'd made the card and done all the mats and layers, but it just wasn't, something wasn't quite right with it. So I kind of stepped away from it and that's what I always tell people to do and then kind of go back to it again later. So this is the finished card. So if you didn't watch the live, you basically pull it out and this is the card. So this is a circus theme and it will stand up like this. So you can see a really good view there of the exact shape of this. And it all folds down into a six by six size and this will fit into my six by six box envelopes and I'll link that just up here. But isn't it cool? I absolutely love this. You can see all the panels there. And again, those of you that watch the live, you'll see the changes I made with the, the center mainly. I really did change that a lot. So originally I had a big happy birthday sentiment stuck there. But anyway, that's what I've done. Today's is gonna to be slightly different. It's more girly. So I've got some lovely papers. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so I've got a couple of templates here because I just think it's easy to follow when you've got these. And I will take a photo of these and put them onto my blog eventually if I just bring it over a bit there. So you'll want two pieces of eight by six and you'll want two pieces of four by nine. Okay, so I'll start off with the I've already made one half of it. So I'm going to start off with the four by nines. They're very similar really on how you score, at least cut these pieces, although they're different sizes. So first of all, with this piece here, so let's pop that to one side. I'm going to pop that up there, come down, there we go. So along the nine inch side, you just want to score at three and six, okay? Just roughly kind of fold them, just so you can see them there. And then you just want to fold one of them over so it's facing you, just in half like so. Burnish it like so, and then pop it back into your scoreboard with the folded side along the top there. Okay, I just realised my nails match my scoreboard perfectly. Then what you want to do is you're going to score, so now I'll fold this one over. We're going to do this score line here, which is also going to be a cut line. I like to put these in first and then do this one. If you want, you can measure and draw a pencil and just end up doing this score line. Once you see me doing it, you know, there's other ways to do it. But I thought this was quite easy and we're going to cut this with scissors rather than a cutting knife because I know some people don't like using that. What you want to do is you're going to come in one, one inch, okay? So this one I fold it, that's one inch in here. So I'm going to score, start scoring at one. I'm going to put a little marker there. Now I am scoring through two pieces of cardstock here because it's obviously folded over. You're going to score down two inches. You can see here I've got the two inches. So I'm just bringing my style, oh that wasn't very good, just really embed it in the track but I'm bringing it down to the two there, okay? And then again I'm going to score at three because that's one inches from the, the other end there. Again just come all the way down until you get it to the two. Okay, I'll just burnish that so it stops. There we go. All right, so we've just done these score lines. Coming in at one inch, down two. Then pop it on this side, and you might want to use a ruler. Basically, now you just want to join up the ends of those, but just to make sure that they are, you know, where they need to be. If you get your ruler and just sit it at the two inches here, I can just see the end of my score line there and it just my stylus is just falling into the track there. And then what I can then do is open it up, lay it in and you should see this one now lines up, that score line lines up with the eight inches. So I'm just gonna follow the eight inches there and just re-score over what we've already done just to embed it, just so you can really see it. And again, I can just join that there and there. Okay, so you can see now I've got that shape. Fold it back that way. Now flip it around so the fold's facing you. And you're now just going to cut up nice and neatly to the end. Like so. Now when you open it up, this is going to be that shape. So you just want to fold it so you now have that shape. So the plain piece is facing you, the folded cut piece is in here. Pop that piece out and just work those score lines so you have that shape. Just go over those. And you want to do this twice and you'll have that. 
So there's the one, and there is the other one. And we're just going to flip one over so you have it opposite, opposite like that. Okay, so get those ones done. And then we're going to do the larger section. Again, it works very much in the same way, but we're going to create this shape here. So if I just lay that one down, come over there, there we go. So first of all, we want to score along the eight inch side, we want to score at four and a half and seven and a half. So four and a half and seven and a half. And then pop it along this side so that little half inch is at the top. And just score it to just the first, the first score line. Just doing that one there. And we're actually going to cut down that in a moment. But it's just a little guide there. Again, just roughly kind of fold those. And now you want this one on the top with the half inch facing you. So I'm just going to burnish that one. Lay it in here. Again, I'm just going to bring that around. This time you're coming down one and a half, coming up one and a half, and coming in one and a half. Okay, so one and a half, and then I'm just going to come down to the one and a half, like so. And again here it's going to be four and a half, again just coming down like that. Then I'm going to pop it on this side, grab my ruler. You can use a T-square ruler if you're not using a scoreboard. I'm just going to lay that down at the one and a half and just join them up. And then again, I'm going to open it up. And now I can see this one sits at the six inch marker, so I'm just going to go over that again. And that one sits at the three inch. And then rotate, and that's at four and a half. And that one is at one and a half. So I'm just going over them again, just so they're all in the right direction. Okay, so now I've got that square. Fold it back again. So that's on the top and you're going to cut down the two lines like so and then that little piece there where you've done that tiny score line just cut down and then remove all of the score line but make sure it's nice and straight I went a bit wonky with the other one it didn't really matter you never noticed it but that will be on show okay and now this time this tab is going to attach the smaller pieces to it but you just want to push those in so they're valleys so this is going to make these valleys as well but this is going to be a mountain so you want that popping out just fold it back I'll bring that up again so you can see what I've done okay so I've just popped it out so you've got a mountain you should have a valley 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 mountain valley and again you'll have two of those so I'm going to flip that one so it's that way just flip that over and it's going to be like that and you're going to basically stick one over the top. And now we want to attach the other pieces. So I'm going to start with this one here. And what's going to happen is that's just going to stick over here. And I would just say, just take a tiny little wedge off of the ends there. And I'm just going to grab my glue. And I'm just going to lay that down nice and neat. Like so. Now you could just have that with some, you know, card shape if you wanted to, because it all folds down, and that would fit into a six by four, and it would be displayed something like that. It's quite cool. But now I'm going to do the same on this side. So I've already taken the tabs off of that because that was the one I'd made before. So no, you could have that one on there if you wanted to, and have that at the end. But I'm going to keep it like I did the first one, and then I'm going to stick the left side over the right, and I'm going to use allow glue and I'm just going to go over that section and just make sure that can fold over don't go over the, the score line of this piece otherwise it's not going to work properly and then that will all and what I've been doing is just clicking clicking just locking that one in there and you can see there it all folds down into that six by six size just make sure got that wiggle room so you can really move it around to make sure it's all lined up okay now I'm gonna lay down all the mats and layers and give you the sizes and then I'll pop it on high speed when I actually physically stick them all down okay so the papers I'm using are from this paper pad here which I believe was in an issue of simply cards and paper craft it's really nice I did share it in one of my videos back you know last year Look at some of these gorgeous prints. And I saw the tropical ones and I thought I wanted to use Jerry the giraffe. So I'm going to have her in the middle section here. And it's going to be a really nice, pretty, 
pink tropical scene. So I've already gone ahead and cut all of the mats in there. So in the middle here, the pink is this, you'll want two of these, I've got one to go on the back as well for my message. So this is two and three quarters by five and three quarters and then the white is two and a half by five and a half. And I'm going to be stamping Jerry onto this and then I have all of these lovely die cuts here and she's going to be popping her head out of the top of those. I keep saying Jerry as if you all know who she is. She is from my very first stamp set and it's um, here she is here. Made a surprise. So I'm going to be using her and I'm going to put a party hat on her as well. Then I've gone ahead and got all these layers here. So these are going to go here and here. I've put the pattern paper to go on top of the pink. So if you want these ones, this will all be listed on my blog, but you'll want two pieces that are one and a quarter by five and three quarters and then one by five and a half. They're going to go on each side there. These ones, I'm going to go, if I do one half here, then you'll be able to see, you'll know where it goes on the other side. This one's going to go here. Okay, so you'll want two pieces that are two and three quarters by three and three quarters and then two pieces of two and a half by three and a half. So there and that, that end. Then I have all of these squares, which are one and a quarter squared. Yeah, and then these pattern pieces are one inch squared. And they're all gonna go over the top. Then I've got these four rectangles and these are one and a quarter by two and three quarters. Then I've got these here. So again, you'll want four of that size. These you'll want four of the squares and then four of the pattern papers. And those are one and three quarters squared and then one and a half squared. Then I've got these pieces here, so you'll want eight. And they're two and three quarters by three quarters. And then lastly, I've got four of these pieces here. I'm not putting pattern paper over the top of these pieces, by the way, that's why they're staying that block colour. And those are three quarters of an inch by one and seven eighths. It's the only one that's slightly different just because of where they're sitting. Okay, so I'm gonna go and get everything stuck down, get the back one stuck down, and I'm probably gonna stamp Jerry as well, colour her, and get all this done. Pretty much complete the card, and I'll just show you close up of what I've done with that.
there is the finished card. I just can't keep it all in. That's kind of how it will look when it's displayed. Mind you though, it's, well, I would have it. I would have it. If I was sent this card, I'd have it like so. But if I bring up the middle there, you can see Jerry. <laughs> She's so cute. She's popping her head out from the trees there and all the leaves. And I just used just random, well I say random, they're just a mix of different leaf dyes that I've just collected over the years. So I've got, um, this is a Stamping Up Tropical one, so I just use this one. This one here I picked up from the works probably about three years ago now, and that's the hibiscus that I used with the stamen detail there, and you can see that. And then all different ones there as well. And then I just used a pom-pom, which is one of these from Simply Creative. And the hat comes from my props party stamp set, which is this one here. Actually, I've just taken out and I've used that hat there. And you can put the unicorn ears on her. You've got wigs. There's all kinds of things. So they're really, really fun. And I'll put It's Your Birthday there. And then I will stamp something. Or leave it blank and write something. But I and I've also decorated these bits here on the back. So you would want two pieces that are two and three quarter by, I'm not using the best ruler here, one and a quarter. And then it would be two and a half by one. Again, you'd want two pieces. And then these pieces here, it's that same one and a quarter by four and a quarter. And the reason why I've just done those ones is because when you close it, like I said, I've got a lot of dimensions of this. It will fit in my box envelope. And I'll link it again if I haven't, but you'll see this detail here. So when they pull it out of the envelope, that's what they see. You want to have, you know, different details here, then you can, like this one. So I've done it so that it's almost like they're greeting you, you know, at the, you know, the front of the circus tent. And then you open it up and you have everything in there. And again, you can see where I've decorated the back there because you see that when the card's closed so yeah they're very big so I'll just kind of lay them down like so and um, I'll take lots of pictures and they'll all be up on my blog so you'll be able to see all the detail there but I'm thoroughly pleased with these cards and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today so as always I will share everything that I've used in the description box below all the measurements will be over on my blog post when I've done that and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial bye